my ace movies it's your girl kenny ace baby back with another youtube video and if y'all can see by the title y'all will know what this video is going to be about don't worry about my moves i just got through eating a blue um i wish it was a popsicle but a blue um freaking sucker girl is really hungry but we're not gonna get into that um so today i am um starting the vlog off for my last day of school starting the vlog of put on last let's go i am so excited to read to y'all so this is gonna be a long video i told y'all that it's gonna be a long video so we're gonna start out with this one first it's so simple it just says please join us in celebrating the river gardens high school class of 2022 graduation ceremony thursday may 26 2022 6 p.m to 7 p.m also one hour which is not going to be as long because i do not like events that i have to sit through to be so long um it has the address i'm not going to tell you that obviously because why would i do something like that unless you know you're one of my family members but i will tell you that in private so yeah which one would I, which one should I do first? I'm going to do this one first because this seems longer right here. Okay, so they gave me this one. So that is like five times right here. That's how you tied to me. So they um, sent this out May 4th, 2022. And it arrived around like, I think, on the 10th, I think. I don't know. But it says, Class of 2022 Graduation Ceremony slash Senior Checkout Information. So when we check out, if y'all don't know already, when things check out, we pick up our cap and gown, our sash, satchel. If we like got on road, which I got on road, we pick up like a ribbon or something. But yeah, congratulations. It is time to celebrate your scholar's achievement, which is me. And they send this to my mom to my mama to see, but they gave it to me. And close with this letter or flyers regarding your scholar's graduation ceremony a map of the graduation ceremony layout a map of the well they got the um name of where i'm gonna be at and graduation instructions on friday may 20th is senior checkout day yep here which is that <coughs> excuse me which is a week from now for all scholars who are on track to graduate since I'm on track, I'm definitely watching. Not every senior will be graduating because they also is offering um, senior summer school right now. So, like, they could still graduate, but just not with us. So, y'all know, we get, like, a lot of stuff. When you go to school, you get tablets and all this type of stuff. So, we would have to return our Chromebooks and chargers. Have all required courses, including online courses, completely and passed. Completed and passed. Okay? Just like that. Have taken all their in the course tests and have Johnson's paid in full. That means tapping down. If you wanted um the um attire, you should already have the attire, like the um senior class of senior 2022 one day, you could have got that. But what is really required is our cap and gown. And that's crazy because we had to pay for it. I never heard of nobody paying for their own cap and gown. I thought, you know, people just get it. But I guess our school just different. I don't know. Okay, have our list of below graduation required links completed. Links were emailed for easy access. However, scholars must be in their school email to access the links. And they got little links on here so you can, like, you know, tell your like hiding weight for the cap and gown um how many people were attending the graduation stuff like that simple stuff and if you got to accept the system, um schools if you go to college after high school um during senior checkout day shall will receive this is what i was talking about we will see cap and gown includes a 2022 tassel so receiving this cap and gown i will have time to decorate my cap which i won't be decorating because i don't have nothing to decorate with but it would be really really nice to decorate my um cap but i guess not this six graduation tickets and graduation instructions it's crazy how we only get six freaking 
tickets. Six tickets. By the way, if y'all don't know, I'm graduating. This is the public place. So I'm not telling y'all. I'm graduating at UMSU University of Missouri, St. Louis. Period. Anywho, keep going. We getting a medal on. Reads graduation to be worn around graduation gown. Any cords earned. And that's pretty much it with this paper. Told you it was a quick paper. It was quick and easy. So this is the longer one. Like literally words all down the front, back, and everything. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Oops. It says 2022. This is the graduation day. Graduation instructions. This is about the graduation only. This is giving stuff to the graduation. Excuse me. Oh, by the way, today is Thursday, by the way. Just in case you may want to know, look at my braces and my rubber bands. So, anywho, graduates must park on Lot K and must arrive at the University of Missouri St. Louis Mark Twan Center at 4 30 p.m. on Thursday, May 26, 2022. Do not come any later than that because you might be too late. Even though the ceremony starts at 6, you might be too late. The ceremony will begin promptly at 6 p.m. All late arrivals must report to the end of the line. You do not want to be at the end of the line. That is kind of that's embarrassing. People want to understand, like, if you're actually not in the ceremony, but if you're in the ceremony, it will be embarrassing. So, if you're in the ceremony and you're graduating, please come on time. Why would you come late to your own graduation? It's, like, crazy. Like, you should be coming heck of early. Like, you should be so excited to go you got to get there four or five hours early. Anywho. Huh? Graduates Four, must five, report oh. to the lower level to pick up their name card for Mrs. Graham. Line up in alphabetical order, alphabet posted on wall, and follow the directions of the staff line leader. Okay, so I never knew that people went in alphabetical order. I, I thought they went from um um higher achievement to lower achievement because I never obviously I never graduated from high school before. This is my first time. Anywho. Graduates must be dressed in approved graduation attire to participate in the ceremony. No exceptions, masks are required. What she means is your cap and your gown. Do not come to the ceremony not wearing your cap and gown. You're graduating. Why would you? Why wouldn't you have your cap and gown? You wouldn't be invited if you don't have the simple things: cap and a gown. Like I don't know what you wear underneath, but please. Please just wear your cap and gown and look presentable, okay? Anywho, what is that? Graduates must bring their cap and gown to the ceremony. Your graduation caps should be worn flat on the top of your head with the tassel placed to the top right front side of the cap. Graduates are not allowed to decorate or alter the cap or end gown. Hats are not allowed to be tossed after graduation. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Let me read. Let me let me read this again because this is sound. This sounds crazy. Like this is what every high school do. Like why is they not allowing it? Let me read this again because this is this is this is top. This is top not Like I really thought that I was probably to be the only person that um wouldn't be able to decorate it because because I don't got the freaking material. But let me read this again. Graduates are not allowed to decorate decorate or alter their cap and gown nor will they be able to toss their cap literally in the air after the grass the freak is this oh my god that is so freaking crazy that's like literally the only freaking good reason of graduating if you could just toss your toss your cap that is so freaking crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm losing my mind, y'all. I'm losing my mind. Do not mind me. Okay, person's cell phones and other person belongings should be left with family members or guests during the ceremony. Graduates are expected to act appropriately when walking across the stage. This is a formal event. Please refrain from dancing, 
displaying game signs or other inappropriate behavior. I understand her because I see a lot of people on TikTok, on YouTube and everything, walking across the streets and doing a lot of crazy stuff. And, you know, our school already crazy as it is, so we just trying to keep it formed. We're trying to keep it, you know, we graduated in high school. We're not walking across the stage at a freaking club or something. And it's very bummer. So, I understand what she's saying. But the throwing the cap and gown, the throwing the cap, I said cap and gown, throwing the cap is what I don't want to say. Anyway, let's keep going. All graduates must be running seated after the graduate until so escorted off the floor by the staff line leader. The graduates will meet with their family outside the facility after the ceremony. Balloons and or noisemakers are not allowed inside the facility. Okay, so I understand noisemakers, but balloons? Like, my family can't come up to the school with congratulations, balloons. Now, y'all got so many rules. I mean, the rules make sense, but it's just a couple of rules in there that really just don't make any sense at all. I have to wrap my head around it, but right now it's like, somebody's jealous. <laughs> I'm sort of smoke-free campus. Y'all have where I'm excited. I do not smoke. No real, uh, uh, I can't read. No re admittance into the facility upon your exit. Once the ceremony begins, any guests without a ticket will be asked to leave the premises. Dang, y'all gotta get out. <laughs> okay, replicated or photocopy tickets will be done and void. All graduates will receive six, they literally put that in freaking red, six tickets. However, if your attendance is 90 or better, you will receive an additional ticket uh well i won't be receiving an additional ticket because my, my attendance yeah that should say a lot so they also gave us a map at the back which is probably gonna be harder than just following if they had like arrows on a freaking building or just ask somebody that would be better but this all right y'all so i just got from school um, my last official day was yesterday, but today I had to go pick up my cap again and drop off my Chromebook and everything. So, I'm going to tell you what happened. So, um, when I went to school, first thing I did was walk in and talk to the, um, you know, the librarian, because this would go to the library. And the first thing she did was give me my prom ticket and promise tomorrow. So, I don't know if I'm getting my nails done today or not, but I'm going to still, like and whatnot i gotta wait for my mama to get back here because she went somewhere and then yeah that's one of the things i did and then i turned i turned in my chromebook so what they do is you go in you say tell them your name and then you give them your chromebook and your charger and they then they ask you like is you going to college or um a university or something like that and then you know i said i say yeah so they was like do you want to keep the chromebook and I was, I was already thinking in my head, like, I am not getting this Chromebook ever again because this Chromebook is heavy as hell. And I was thinking, like, you know, my school going to give me a Chromebook anyways. And, and if, if, even if they don't, I can eventually buy my own. So it's not a big deal. But I was like, no, it's okay. I don't want to keep the Chromebook for school. And they was like, okay. And then they was like, you good to go. They put your, your name on there and you could go. And then you go back there and you got your thing. Because I got to make sure. I got this on deck. Let me put you right here. I don't know my number, my number, but so they give you your. I think this is yes. They give you a certificate. Ooh, I don't know. I'm doing it, and it looks like this. Literally from the state. Excuse me. And it got your name on it. Obviously, it's kind of backwards. I think it is. And then they also give you your tickets. This is where the tickets come. I have to show you what the tickets look like. This is what tickets look like, and you only get six tickets, which is crazy because literally I got seven people. Wait, is it seven people other than me or seven people plus me? Um, yeah, I got six other people in the house other than me, and I also want to invite my grandma. So, yes, yeah, somebody's not coming the graduation 
because I'm definitely inviting my grandma. Like, I'm most definitely top notch inviting my grandma. Um, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna try to make it work for real. I'm gonna try to make it work because I don't want to make nobody be upset. It's not my fault that I only got six tickets. That's the school fault. That's their policy. That's what they gave to every single person that was graduating. So, huge news that I want to tell you that is sad news. But it's going to get better, though. It's going to get better. Underneath is my prom. I'm going to do a prom vlog. But, yeah. So, what I want to let you know was that when i went there to get my cap and gown they said they didn't have it they looked over over the same box i really thought that they probably had it in other box but they didn't they didn't have my cap and gown and they were saying that when i called every when i called the people that gave me numbers they tried to help me because the counselor was definitely on my side on my side she was emailing me a whole week before um check out they let me know oh this is this is that like she personally emailed me because that's how much she really really wanted me to you know get this stuff and i was like i was so excited because i was so geek everybody was hyping me up about it so i was hyping myself up as well so and you know they said it's no delays it should have shipped out so where is it at but you know that's the only downside i didn't get my cap and gown today because if i did i would have showed y'all what my cap and gown look like but yeah um they said most definitely i'm gonna get my cap and gown um on shoot they said i'm gonna get my cap and gown most definitely i'm gonna get my cap and gown before graduation and you know i'm vlogging on graduation so when i do get my cap and gown um i would most definitely show y'all what it looks like definitely but until then i can't show y'all but this is the end of the video make sure y'all like share subscribe like this video show your friends and family so they can know about you subscribe to my channel turn your post not notification bell um yeah and i see y'all in this video